hello fam welcome 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 i know it's been a while you guys haven't seen me i haven't been posting for a while now but i was having some issues to take care of nevertheless let me just get into the video today i want to tell you guys a very great story about um the place i'm about to show you guys because i want to take you guys somewhere where they were performing rituals only women they were performing some rituals back then in 19 that was in 19 60s 70s and the 80s perform these rituals like every year uh, between um june july and august right now we are in august between june july and august this three months the women will get into the forest because where i am right now this environment that you guys can see all of this environment you guys can see here right here around me here it was a very very thick forest around the 1960s 1980s and the 1970s also it was a very very thick forest so um i'm in libreville they usually used to do these cultural um rituals every year you know it always begins at um in june from june july and august so the people that always do these rituals they are the, the tribe that always believe in these rituals they are the miene the Mienes are the people who believe in these rituals. Like you said, like the rituals where the women always come into the forest and dance naked. They will stay there for like three months. And within that three months, no man is allowed to get, you know, no man is allowed to come to the forest, to this forest. It's just because as, as time goes by, then years passes, things have changed. That's why you guys can see now, it is no, no longer forest. As you guys can see, people are start building. People start building, you see, houses around me, just, just start building all around, all around, all around around me. So, but nevertheless, let me take you guys to the, the exact spot, the environment, let you guys to know the history of the place and how it was, how people were, uh, you know, how the women always performed. And I will also tell you guys story, the stories behind what has happened back then, what happens to a white man who wanted to see who wanted to see because he never believed in it and wanted to see what happens to him when he came into the forest this place i'm standing right here was a very very thick forest nobody can pass here during that that season that june july and that august nobody can pass here so um gonna take you guys there so that you guys will see if you are new here please if you haven't subscribed please do make sure you subscribe to all my fans that have always been there so i want to say thank you so much for waiting on me now i'm back and i'm back for good um be posting videos now every every blessed day so let me just let me not waste much of your time and let me just take you guys right there I'm just turn it so that you guys can see you see all these places i showed you guys all oh, these houses these houses that houses there was in there before all the environment like i told you guys i told you guys or i don't know if you guys have been watching some of my videos this is alibandeng so this is the banjo this river here let me show you guys something a quick a quick look at this i want to show you guys a quick i want to take you i want to show you guys something like the banjo between ambuwe and alibandeng this is alibandeng and this ambuwe let me show you so this right here this right here you see this water the water that you see the little stream that you see going down that way it's like a boundary so if you cross over this water you are in you are in, in you are in ambuwe so where i am right now this is um alibanden this is alibanden if you cross over you are in ambuwe so that's what makes the difference but the two places yeah two quarters are not the same because each of them these two quarters you see you think like you know they are the same they are being ruled by one person no they are not being ruled by one person each of the quarter they, they have the uh they have what we call chef de quartier so it's being ruled by the chef de quartier in another video i will tell you guys more about that in another video we are heading to the ritual spot the spot where you know women when i talk about women i mean women with dignity not um ladies like not girls you know not just any type of women women with dignities like those grandmas of about 50 50 60 70 55 and above you know when they always they always come and perform this ritual it's a three months ritual so they always go there naked you know by the entrance the entrance 
I can't really specify the entrance right now, but I can show you the spot where the ritual always takes place. The exact spot where the ritual always takes place. So that's where I'm taking you right now. And that's exactly where we head into right now. Just follow me. Let me show you guys. But you guys can see like, I don't know. They have built everywhere. Almost everywhere, yeah. They have been building everywhere, yeah. It just looks like, I don't know if there's any road there to go there, but it should be a road going there. It should surely be a road going there. Speed around. See, they have built here. Yeah. Places have changed. But I think, oh, I nearly fall. Oh my goodness. Places have changed. Are we heading there right now? Let me show you the place. So, so I want to tell you guys that all this spot that you guys have seen, all this spot that you guys have seen, this was a forest. Because it is the name of the god is called Mbuza. Mbuze. I think if I'm not right, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, it's Mbuze. That's the name of a god. That's the goddess. The water goddess. Mbuze. So I will show you guys more. <laughs> I don't know if there are people living in their house. I don't yet know. There are people living in the house. I don't yet know. So you guys can tell for the from the place you hear you can see how quiet this environment looks like. You see how quiet the environment. You guys can see how quiet this environment looks like. So it is like a ritual place, a holy place for traditional rituals during that time because it is boundary with water there is water sea water and the land so that's exactly where we are going to and if you are also new here please do make sure you subscribe click on the notification bell I'm showing you guys where they used to do rituals back then the women the mbuze it is called the river goddess of which it's properly properly known as mbuze that's where we are heading to so it begins here so this is the forest it was this place that you guys can see this spot that you guys can see it was a very very thick forest back then in nine in the in the 1960s 70s and the 80s it was a very 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 thick forest back then this spot that you guys are seeing very very thick forest back then the place now you know it has just been abandoned sometimes you just use it right now to like you know do driving to come and drive you can see car car tracks there and they use it like they also use it like a place spot like a place spot so while we are going let me because we are almost there that's the spot. i don't know if you guys can see that's the space right there right there see sign shining right there that's the spot so when we get there i will tell you guys a little story about about the place what happens the other time you see now they're taking it like if a, a stadium fee and all that but actually from this this place i'm this place where we are moving right now it is a ritual place like it's a holy place for the goddess mbuze uh, the goddess mbuze so they just the women when it is time like doing um january when it is time like doing january um January, no, not January. Sorry, I said January. Sorry, guys. Um, not January. When it is time, during um, June, July, and August, um, the women, uh, when, when it is time in during June, the women, they will arrange their things. They will get in here where I am right now, this spot. You see? You see how they're using it now for, for like, they have turned it into a football field. You see, so you guys are uh, playing the football team. 
Never even come, come to this area. I cannot even mention to be so close to this area because it was strictly, strictly, strictly for those women, for those our grandmothers, our great grandmothers, our ancestors. They were strictly, strictly for them. They will come here and be and perform their ritual. And before they get into this forest, into the forest, because where I am, it was a very thick forest, very, very, very thick forest. By then, they will get in here. Before they get in here, they will be naked. They will be actually naked. For those who doesn't know about the Miene, the Miene, the Miene also they are the type of Bantu. You know, uh, they are Miene, Miene normally they are, they are being known that people who are always, you know, always closer to the water. Uh, they are, you can find them in Persian tea. You can find them in Persian tea. But they are also, they are also Mienes here in Libreville. So the ones here, that, they are the ones who usually to, you know, they are the ones that always usually to perform the rituals. So, like I tell you guys, the reason why they choose this spot this particular spot that i am in right now the reason why they choose this spot it is because it is closer to the water and the land so i told you guys that the name of the goddess is a water goddess known as mbuze it's the, the name is mbuze there is even half a music track that they played about mbuze let me show you guys the water let me show you guys the environment you see that here is water here yeah. You see, they will come here and perform the rituals. They will do some sacrifices. They will be naked. They will stay here for almost two, three months or three months or so. Look, if you look down, right down there. I don't know, you guys see water right there? You see that? All this spot, you see, is water. Here yeah, now there's no water, but you see, you can tell. You see, back then, back then in the early days, it was, it was really, 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 really very thick bush forest you know let me tell you guys now about the the story what happened to a white man there was a white man a french man who never ever believed uh, about african tradition so during that period i wasn't there i myself i wasn't born but i was i was not like you know my mother didn't have given birth to me yet but they told me that um a white man that never believed um the tradition because he got married to a gabonese woman and the wife also was a member of that society group that always come here and perform the ritual during june july and august so their wife the husband went somewhere it seems like he traveled but during that period it happens that he came back during that period and heard that Haida, his wife has gone to the ritual to perform the ritual so she will only be back after three months so this man what the man did was the man actually you know get into his car drove off, drove off to closer to the entrance of this place then he came that was doing the uh, like about like evening that about 6 p.m to 7 p.m in the evening something like that so this man what he did was like he packed his car he came in trying to came try, trying to come in to this holy place this ritual place of which that was in history but no more is no more um actually is no more the ritual spot anymore because it is now history it has changed development have come and changed everything civilization also have come have changed everything so he came, the man, the man came to see that he's coming to take his wife. He came. But while he was on his way coming, before he get in there, it seemed like those people discovered that there was somebody there. They were performing their rituals and, you know, they are, they are I don't know, their grandmistress. This grandmistress, yeah, let, 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 just permit me to say that. Their grandmistress, what she did, like, she knew, she discovered that there was someone spying at them when they were doing their rituals. Because these women, they are they were there was there were so many in number and they were all naked doing the ritual i don't know what they're doing but it was rituals that only them that knows nobody knows what they were doing in the thick forest like this one so this they discovered that the man was there and before the man had to discover that they have already seen him 
he wanted to run away and unfortunately he turned to a pillar to a, a heap of you know I, I can't, I can't, a heap of soil you see heap of soil you know this uh, like what the soil that termites always used to come and hang on top like termites you when you go somewhere you see like a ground somewhere high down like you see the ground there is so somewhere like very high a little bit then you see termites inside like termites termites hot so he just turned like a termites hot so why the car was parked there the wife never knew that it was her husband so she was still there then the car also was still there it was during after the ritual period during after the ritual period you know after the ritual period the wife came out when they came out because they know the car everybody knows his husband car even some of the women there that they were still in the society in that same society they knew his her husband so when they saw the car they knew that her husband they knew that that man was what her, was her husband but it was already too late so that's what i just got to tell you guys about it that you know the one the, the, the white man wanted to see what is what's going on and what's going to happen to him um, if you come and see so this place was a very 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 sacred place very sacred place for mbuzi so there was nobody no male no male coming in here even if in, if you are a female and if you are not being introduced to the society you can never 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 ever come here so you can see guys you can see for yourself you see you see some little little huts let's go ahead get go in there and see what's here you see all this place now have been just it has just been a space of nobody you see you see how it is so you see the spot just down here is water you see you guys can see that for yourself down there's water you see the forest those days as i'm telling you guys that those days nobody can come here nobody can come here guys nobody it was very very horrible everybody was scared so they always come and do the rituals closer to the water because it was a god it was the goddess of the water mbuze so let me take a little tour tour you guys this place not for the talking and let me show you guys the talking of the place <laughs> You see, there's a step even here that you go down, go down to perform the ritual in the water. But I think like that spot right there, that was where they always, you know, stay, sleep. This spot you see here. But I think this spot also was where they were going down. Where they go down to do the ritual because since it was the river goddess so they always they're going down they pass through this way they go down go through this way because it was a river goddess so each time they always go there they go down this way to perform the rituals in the water so this is look at you guys can see the steps here try and go down try and go down oh oh so So I'm just gonna end here for now. So um, this is the spot, guys. As you can see, this is the spot. So you see, down here is water. Water. This place leads to the sea. If you move just towards directly here, you go find yourself in the big ocean. In the ocean. I don't know if this is Pacific. Oh, I don't know if it is Pacific Ocean or I don't know. I don't know or Atlantic Ocean, but I, all I know is that you get you find yourself in an ocean. So this is it, guys. You see, all over is the forest. All over is the forest. See how clean that place looks like. It's an environment that I look clean. I'm still scared. Oh my god! Oh my god! Me being in here. Got me scared. I'm scared, guys. I'm very, very scared. 
I don't know because I do believe that there is still something strange going on here in this place. Oh my god, just look at that place. Look at that. Just look at that place. My granddaddy told, once told me that if, I, if I'm in the middle of a forest and I see somewhere that is clean, very, very clean, crop, that means there is their ancestors are sleeping there. Some of ancestors of our ancestors are sleeping there. That I shouldn't go and pee on, on the place, on the spot. I shouldn't go and pee on the spot. No, neither should I even, you know, try to date the place. I should remove if possible. I should remove my shoe or my slippers and walk and hold it, you know, on my, you know, in my hands and walk past by. Like this is what I've just seen. Let me see if I can go down there. Let me see if I can go down there. Oh my god, I'm so scared, guys. I'm very, very scared. No, no. Oh god, I'm so scared. I'm really, really scared about going down this place. Guys, I'm scared. Oh, what's that? I'm talking about this is exactly the spot I'm talking about I don't want to keep my voice very loud because as you guys can see you see how round the place looks like to tell you guys I'm telling you guys something you see how round the place looks like right? you see how clean it is so look at how clean it is you can find nothing nothing no dead in this place so it should definitely be a holy place and I can't see any footsteps. There are no footsteps in this place. You see how it is, guys. You see how. I don't know whether the ancestors might be asleep. So I don't want to step them. They might be asleep or they might be taking their rest. Especially Mbozi. I don't want to be. I don't want to wake her up. I don't want to get Mbozi angry. So I think I'm better leave right now because I don't want to get Mbozi angry. Let's leave right here. Let's leave. I just wanted to show you guys this little place. Let's leave right here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is it here right now? I'm trying to go back. I'm trying to go back there. I see here right now. I'm trying to go back. Let's just go down because let's keep climbing because I don't want I don't want to disturb the ancestors. I don't want to disturb Bozi. Yeah, now we are back at the resting spot. So this is where they were resting. So I just show you guys yeah, where we are. Yeah, that, that was the safest spot. See how clean it was. Let's just see how clean it was. That was the safest spot. Let me show you guys. I don't want to make any noise. And I'm filming this video. It is about. It's around midday. You know, we believe in Africa culture that during midday, the gods are taking their rest during midday, so you don't have to make noise in the forest, especially when places are quiet. And then the sun will come out like you see the sun shining. It means that God is protecting the rest. The rest. I don't want to step in. That's why you guys saw me. I'm stepping very, very low. Because I don't want to step in the rest. And where I am right now, guys, this spot I showed you go spot. This guy is actually you guys in this spot area. That is a very, very safe place. This is where they were sleeping. Those ladies, those are mothers that were performing the ritual. This is where they're sleeping. But I think. Somewhere there, somewhere right there, right there in the river, I'll show you guys right there, somewhere down there, that's where they perform the rituals with the goddess of the water, that's Mbozi. So, guys, right now, um, you have a subscribe to the